top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Did your dog pass away? Did your dog poop on your carpet? Do you not have a dog? Leave a comment down below. I'm serious. Please leave a comment. I, I want to know how you're doing. Thanks. We're going right down the road up the 101 to my buddy Travis Johnson's place today. Travis Johnson with Living Legless Reptiles. We're going to go over here. He's, check, he's uh, hashed out maybe more snakes than he's ever hashed out in a season ever in his life. So we're going to go check him out. Let's go. It's like magic. All right, Travis. I'm, I'm just going to go look at all your snakes if you don't mind. Yeah. Lots of stuff going on over here. Would the, you say uh, this, this is the most you've hatched since? Yeah, this is the biggest production year we've had um, yet. Uh, I mean, I've been working with reptiles now 16 years. Um, and yeah, this year we produced 184 or 186 babies um, from blood pythons, long tail boas, Argentine boas, crawl K boas, coastal carpets, some locality stuff, some morph stuff, jungle carpets, lots of bull snakes, and various morphs of those, all kinds of cool stuff. And then I've been buying some stuff that. Uh, Projects I've wanted to get a hold of for a long time. Moving along in uh, 2020, even though uh, the world is uh, paused, uh, it's been a pretty good year for uh, for reptile stuff for me. And we're gonna look at all of it for right now. <laughs> Somebody told me that they might send me one of these. And that is an orange head Sumatran short tail python. Don't look at my face, look at the snake, there you go. Get a good look there. Let's go over by the window light. Get a good. It's a good look at that head on that thing, man. That's a good looking snake. Don't be nervous, buddy. I'm not gonna eat you. Everything's good. We're friends. Look at that. Sumatran short tail. What do you guys think? I, so, like I said, I got somebody that wants to send me one of these, and I'm thinking I might take them up on it. I wouldn't pass it up. So we got some crawl K boas here that tra Travis produced. So everything I pull out first is gonna be stuff that Travis produced right here. Like this crawl, okay. Oh, I didn't produce this. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Well, everything after the sea. He didn't produce the Sumatras, just to be clear. But he did produce this right here. Those turned out cool. They're such a cool boa. People want a boa that, you know, stays small. They're right up there with the top. I mean, those guys in like Tarahumara mountain boas, about the smallest uh, boa constrictors in the world. Sweet. Got a good little disposition too. Seems chill. Good little wrap on the on the finger on the yeah, thumb. Yeah, they're pretty mellow. At least that one is. A couple of them are. He hatched a bunch of Argentine boas, but they all sold like immediately. Unfortunately for me, but I guess I got a bow over here hoping to do some work. Look at that. So that's an Argentine bow. That when they're babies, they stay a little, a bit more gray and light colored, and as they age, they get that really dark black and white happening, and. What'd you do? You produced seven of these and you sold six of them in one day? Yeah, one day. That is a normal blood python. Uh, oh, <laughs> see? I told you. <laughs> Super normal. They're all, when they're babies like this, they get real defensive, but they, they calm down if you work with them. If you guys have seen Sangria, that's an obvious. But look at the fat head. This thing's got massive head boobs. And it's just, look at the head. Look at the head is on fire. This is a normal blood python. Blood pythons are one of those species that get better as they get older. Their, their colors enhance and they just get better looking. And look at this thing. It's not, the, I, I promise the camera's not even doing it justice. The heads on all of these things are just on fire. And they're all available. Most of these are available. It's pretty much gone. Well, <laughs> yep, eat the camera, not my face. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description. I'll, pretty much most of the snakes that we're showing here today are gonna be available on Travis Mork's on. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut it, I'm just gonna start over. I'm gonna, there's a link down in the description for Travis's morph market. And a lot of the snakes that we're showing here today are available, so you should go check them out. This is a good dude right here. Um, I mean, you guys probably seen him on the channel at least seven times, eight. 12. Once or twice. <laughs> well, link down below. Check out the stuff he's got available. It's, it's quality stuff coming from a quality person. And uh, I say stuff that's just like I have it. Everybody says stuff, huh? Yeah. Look at this stuff. This Isn't is it stuff. neat? Wow, and super friendly. Just a little buzz. Yeah, a little buzz. A little tail buzz. So that is a ivory bull snake. Um, 
uh, all, an ivory is is um, white sided and hypo. Uh, you can make it two different ways because there's two forms of hypo melanism in uh, bull snakes. But uh, all of ours are we are made with uh, the Trumbauer hypo. The Trumbauer kind of gives them this more of a freckly look, like it it washes the a little bit of the saddle pattern away. Um, as where in Stillwater Hypo has more distinct saddles in my opinion. Um, so I kind of like making the ivories with uh, with the Trumbauer gene. Well behaved too. You know how well behaved this snake is. Yeah, he's being mellow. I find males will be a little more hissy than than females as babies. I put my little juju on it. I said, yeah. I said come here snakey, you love me. <laughs> you only bite me if I want you to. Snake whisperer. <laughs> How many of you guys think you can pull that little carpet python out of there without getting bit? I know I can't. <laughs> That's... See, carpet pythons come out super tiny, but this guy is exceptionally tiny. And look at how big he is on my hand. There's already a little bit of forced perspective happening because he's in front of my hand, but he is absolutely a tiny little zebra shedding out. Super little tiny. Super little, but the other thing that carpet pythons do when they're little is they're very scared and tiny and afraid, and they, they bite just out of defense, out of fear. Oh, can you give me one more tap? But look at this guy. I'm going to go ahead and... Chalk that up to my superb, gentle, zen-like, easy, yogic, practiced moves. Look at that. You didn't, you didn't even... No nips. No. Zero nips. We're trying to make ivory zebras. So this guy's only 50% ivory. But the next generation... I mean, this animal will never be, like, as bright yellow as, you know... A jungle. A jungle is kind of known for. Um, but the next generation is incredible. Um, the 75% ivory zebras are just a really, really cool looking snake. I have Darwin's, Nova Guineas, um, locality coastal stuff, lots of different projects, morph projects and color uh, selective breeding projects with coastals and caramel coastals, stripes, that sort of thing. But yeah, jungles, that's it. The, uh, it's the only project I work with. All right, here's, here's attempt number two. Pulling the snake out without, with no defensive motions. Just tried to eat my tongs last week, so. The one finger touch. Just get that finger in there. Don't even think about eating that thumb. <laughs> she turned out really cool. Oh yeah. Really good striping. I mean, this thing is way more like rusty red color than than the coast the coastal the caramel coastals I've seen. This one's possibly a super because the pairing was super to super, or it was a caramel to caramel. Yeah. Yeah, super could be, they could be super. Unfortunately, super doesn't always look any different than the regular. I mean, so. But this one looks this one looks crazy. I mean, do you have a do the supers tend to have this more red, rusty, caramel color to them, or or is that just, just caramel? Caramel in general, I think it it looks more drastic because of the the thick stripe. But I mean, it comes from some exceptional looking uh you know caramel jeans in there so mom was a, a limpy line uh female and uh dad is a impen stripe uh caramel so i mean this guy has produced quite a few coastals for us we're working on stripes stripes and caramel stripes with him he just got such great color, and it's got a good stripe. I mean, it's kind of zigzaggy, but this is just single gene caramel. Yeah, I and love. Shape is... I love the heads on them. 
they got a little bit of a like a downturn nose and then they got that real heavy spear on the head lots of heavy markings they're cool snakes and they're born I mean like that and then you know get black with with age well at least these do because of their the line they come from so this is boa constrictor longicauda So there's mama right there, that last snake. BCL. She what? She desperately needs uh, some more meals in her. The uh, boas do not put the weight back on like a python does. <laughs> Looks like she does want, she wants to eat camera. She wants to eat your camera. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. <laughs> I was about to ask where the snake is that's going to bite me. all over the camera. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> While we were there at Travis's, I totally remembered that I have this boa constrictor, since we're checking out his boas, that I've been meaning to update you guys on for a long time, months and months. There's been people asking, what's up with that boa constrictor? This is that girl, Margie, that if, for you guys that watch old school Triple B, like some of the first videos, she shed out in my hands right after, as I was unboxing her. And here she is, and of course, true to uh, <laughs> true to the rule of when you want to show a snake off, she's she's deep in shed right now. But deep in shed or not, she is a big, beautiful snake. I'm gonna, I promise, as soon as she sheds out, I'll do a better update on her. But uh, in the meantime, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thank you for joining us today. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, please uh, hit the like button or the dislike button if you hated it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, which is coming up on Monday.